What do you make of it, Kenny? What's up? I don't know about leaving Lily back there. Abandoning someone on the side of the road is the same as murder. Don't worry about it. We just would have had to deal with her eventually. Hmm. You have a point. You want to talk about that? I'm really sorry, Kitty. Nobody deserves this. There's nothing to talk about. You heard Cat. He could be fine. We probably shouldn't ignore it. Nobody's ignoring nothing. I'm not worried. You shouldn't be either. With the directions I was able to piece together, I, I think I might be able to get this thing started. Uh, I don't know. It's a long shot. I don't even know what the fuel situation is with this thing. We'll find out. You mess around in the engine compartment yet? Ah, do I have to do? Right. I'll get back to it. Me too. Now, looking at that, there actually isn't a number nine here. So he, he could be giving us a clue there, actually. Oh, funk. Ooh. Animal crackers. Could shoot him, but... I thought those things were designed to save lives. I reckon I'd probably grab it without him actually... I'm going to have to shoot you, aren't I? Oh, too loud. This door's gonna hurt. Hmm. I think we just try and get him out and slam him in the door. You aren't gonna like this. Get ready for it. Oh, I was a bit too slow there. Oh, I'm gone as well. Okay, I fell quite badly there. Bonk. That looks disgusting. And hey, we've got a little bit of food. That's going to go back for the kids, I think. It's in pretty good shape for a wreck. So I'm going to go back and have a play with the engine again in a moment. Hey, sweet pea. You well, never mind, I can't give her the food. I don't think Doc feels good. He doesn't look it, does he? Neither. Now, don't get me wrong, I've never been a huge fan of Duck, but... I wouldn't like to see him die. And there's anything to play... I forget... Ah, no, this could be it. Oh, I see. So, yes, it'll be... Right, so it's left, right, button. Is that it? Holy shit! We're golden! Yeah, we are. Golden. Man, feels good. Let's fucking enjoy this. We bloody need it after what we've been through. It's all yours. All me. That's the throttle. Damn it. Of course, we're still attached. Can you go find out where we're stuck? Get us unstuck? Yeah. I'll do my best. Now, come on, Lee. We ne I would imagine this is coming to the end of Chapter 3. 
Oh, wrong way. Right, I'd imagine it's going to be on the other side of that. And actually, while I'm thinking about it, I've just remembered I've got that water for catch you. I've got a present for you. Here, found some water. Oh, thank you. Perfect. He's allergic to bees. Is that right? That's all I can keep thinking about. Like, somehow that matters. It doesn't. I know. Well, I don't, but you're probably right. Now, I much prefer to give the crackers to Clem, but hey, I think I think Duck might need them more at this Here, point. I found these. If Duck's up for it. Thank you. That's very thoughtful. He isn't fussy, you know. What? Most kids, they're really fussy about what they'll eat. Hate vegetables, that kind of thing. Not Duck, huh? No. The most trouble I ever have is making him use a fork. Thank you, Lee. Sure. You're welcome. You see, I might have killed somebody before, but I'm not a bad guy. So if it's here, where the, I wonder if the connector bit is on the other side, potentially. Let's have a look on this side of the train. Ah, okay. Couple of pin. That's definitely what's got a stock. There's gotta be a better way to do this. Maybe it is the monkey wrench. Ah, cool. Hey Kenny, we're loose! Well, I thought I could go up that ladder, but it's not letting me now, oddly. It's here, it's here. You touch any of my stuff? Who the hell are you? Um. Who are you? Who are you? The guy who owns that stuff. I guess it's no worse for wear. Name's Chuck. Charles, if you fancy. Lee. That your crew outside? Yeah. And the guy up in the cab? Him too. I saw you walking through here and thought about scaring the pants off you. What? But I couldn't force myself to do it. You're still kind of freaking me out. Train folk will do that. Already met everyone outside. They all warm to me right quick in direct sunlight. So that's Chuck, another survivor. You met Chuck? Yeah, I did. It's so nice to meet someone normal for a change. He gave us candy, Ben too. <laughs> what would that look for, Ben? Welcome. Welcome. Thank you. You met Kenny? Sure did. The man shares my love of the road. That's for certain. <coughs> I'm awful sorry your son's not feeling good. I appreciate your concern. Well, with a little TLC, I'm sure he'll be fit as a fiddle in no time. And I can offer y'all whatever I got, although it ain't much. Thank you. We'd like to do the same. Why don't we hold off on that? Stay with us. We'd like the company. I'm with Kenny on that. We took you into our ranks a bit blooming quick. Let's have a chat to Clem again. Hey, sweet. That candy Chuck gave you. It tastes okay? It was really good. No funny aftertaste? No. 
strange cool, huh? I guess. It's scary, kind of. Why scary, Clem? How's that? I don't know. Tired. Which could mean a lot of things, right? Yeah. His body's probably fighting whatever's in it. Exactly. Fingers crossed. Would you have left Lily back there? On the side of the road like that? Yes, Lee. Yeah? We have to have lines. Yes, I would have left her. Okay, then. Has Clementine said anything to you about Carly or Duck or anything? I'm worried about her. No. That little girl is a puzzle. Yeah, she is. Poor Carly. God, where did yesterday go? I don't know. Yeah, I think him back. Lily deserved to die. I know you were fond of her. I was. This isn't any time for, you know, romance, but yeah. I was, uh, fond of her, yeah. Anyway, let me know if anything changes here. Oh, boy. Let's see what Chuck's angle is. Hey, Chuck. Howdy. Where are you from? You live around here? Georgia boy. You saw where I live. Why are you alone? Why not? Seem to be doing all right. Fine, then. Talkative, aren't you, Chuck? I'm sorry. I do like being around y'all, actually. It's nice. You caught us on a bad day. Hmm. You still got a couple of kids. And this one's got a good spirit. That's some kind of something. I'll talk to you later. Hope so. Hmm. Again, maybe it's just because of the, the brothers that we met previously. How Very distrusting doing? of strangers. I'm watching the girls and not working on a mega cool train. What do you think? Cheer up, Ben. So that's it? We're cut loose? Seems that way, yeah. Great. We don't got much left, so just gather whatever you have. Let's go. Wanna ride? Well, it sounds like you're taking my home. That's a yes, then. Haven't found anything better for keeping the creepy crawlies out than that boxcar. Duck's sick. Get on the train, Clementine. He's getting sicker. Let me look at him. <sighs> I don't know what to do about him. Is the train really a good idea with Duck like that? Maybe we should focus on one thing at a time. Yes. What can we do here? We get on the train and we find something better. That is the plan. I think Lee just wants to talk it through. It's talked through. Get on, Kent. Kenny, you need I'll to be up front. I don't want to hear any nonsense until we get where we're going. Kenny, you need to look at it differently, man. Hey, at least we've got a train now. So many people have died.
Gotta be hard on you, eh? Three adults taking care of three kids. No disrespect, son. Hmm. We'll be fine, thanks, Jug. We'll be fine. We've gone through just as much as anybody else. This one's gonna grow up quick. I already am. I don't doubt it, son. Lee! Lee, I need you right now. I need you to go get Ken. What, sir? Would you get that off his face? My hands are full here. Ah, uh, duck. I feel for you, ma'am. Get that off his face, please. He's out of time. We need to stop this train. Okay. Please. Is Duck honestly gonna die? I'm gonna go get Kenny. Hold on tight in case the train stops fast. I'm sorry, Doc. I'm so sorry. That'd be scary walking along that bit. You need to stop the train. Can I? Kenny. What? Ken. What the hell's that? Your son's blood. Your son's blood. Get out of here, Lee. You know he's dying. Nobody knows shit. He'll be fine. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. I shouldn't talk like that right now. Go back there and tell my wife everything will be fine. What is the goddamn deal? He's a little sick? But we can't just quit. It's a scratch. He's not like the others. Jesus, all y'all are just making it worse. Kenny. You're in denial. And you've given up on Duck, on everyone. Wrong. Stop it, goddammit. Fuck you, Lee. You're gonna listen. Or what? Oh, Kenny, don't let me do this. Calm down. Calm down and... How the fuck do you calm down after a day like today? By talking to your friend. By talking to your friend. You think you're the reason Duck you was bitten? You think you're the reason Duck was bitten? Like you had this coming or something? You didn't kill Herschel's son. You didn't kill Herschel's son. Yes, I did. And now it's catching up to me. That's not what went down. You looked out for your kid. And a bad thing happened to someone else's. Agreed. Lee's absolutely right, Ken. There ain't no way this world lets my son live when I help put someone else's in the ground. That's not the way it works. You know that. Stop the train, man. Stop it, Ken. This. I, are we about to put Duck out of his misery? Kenny, I'm so sorry. Ken, it's. I think it's time. The boy's been bit, in case you haven't figured that out. What do you need? What do you need? I... I... Katja. It's time to... This is not possible. What are we gonna do? We can't allow him to become one of those things. But what if 